is American, the American Broadcasting Network. It's the Merv Griffin Show with Darla Hood, the Spellbinders, Jerry Bressler's Orchestra and Chorus, and our special guest, Sylvia Sims, coming to you live from the American Radio Theater here in New York. So, stop! Whatever you are doing, time to say hello. Welcome to the new Merv Griffin Show. Ah, yes, guys and gals, here are the songs from coast to coast that young America likes the most. With Merv Griffin as your host. So won't you give a listen? Start to get that happy feeling. Start to get that glow. Welcome to the Merv Griffin Show. Now here's the star of our show, handsome Merv Griffin, who is at the piano and singing, My Heart Reminds Me. And that reminds me, dear, of you. I see the summer roses your favorite shade of roses And that reminds me too of you, dear Do Spellbinders have a song there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure do. What's the title of this one? Whispering, Whispering Bell. Bell Oh, Whisper It by all means, yes <laughs> Hear that? You stop the show again, Spellbinders. Terry Bressler's orchestra with a beautiful arrangement of forgotten dreams. Let's go on a moonlight swim. We're in love and above there's a crazy gold balloon that sits winking down and invites us to come on in. On a moonlight swim. On a moonlight swim. That was great, Carla. Really great. Why, thank you, Scott Vincent. Hello, Merv. How are you? Oh, I'm very fine, thank you. <sighs> Anything usual, unusual today? Oh, I know. I have an idea what you're leading up to. Shall we show her what we're leading up to? He's trying to trap me. <laughs> Not at all. Audience? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. No, we're not. See, that's wonderful. Oh, and look at the red flowers. carnations to match the red dress. Oh, boy. This is it is an exciting birthday Thank for you. you? Oh, just just great. Just great. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Watch the reaction I get. How old are you? <laughs> See the reaction? She gets hysterical. All day long I've been asking, why won't you, you tell? You really want to know? Yeah. Really and truly? Honestly. You won't tell anybody else? Never tell us. So, <laughs> how old? 26. Good. Good. <laughs> the first lady in history to ever announce her age over a microphone. 
Congratulations, Carla. Oh, well, thank and you. And may you have 95 more. Oh, thank and you. And all thank on you. our show. <laughs> <laughs> that I hope, too. Thanks a lot, Mary. You're very welcome. Well, this is the moment that we pause in all our merriment to bring you an important thought from some good friend of ours. And tonight, our message is from a, a great authoress and a great humanitarian, Fanny Hurst. Tonight, we're going to hear a definition of greatness, which has so impressed her that she's sharing it with us. Listen to this. Greatness lies not in being strong, but in the right using of strength. And strength is not used rightly when it serves only to carry a man above his fellows for his own solitary glory. He is the greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts by the bigness of his own. That's a nice thought. That's an inspiring message, Byrne. And that sounds good. Certainly nice. is. Say, what kind of a finale do you have tonight, Byrne? Oh, a great big one. Yep, it's kind of a salute to uh, Alan Copeland, who is our guest. We're going to find out what the hit parades in different countries are all singing these days with a little trip called Around the World in 80 Days. Well, if you've got a song ready, Merv, you'll have just enough time to sing it. All right, I'd like to get all the cast together, because this is a beautiful song. Jerry, I'm going to move over to the piano here. It's called Shangri-La. <laughs> gifts I ask of thee, a spirit serene, strength for the daily task, courage to face the road, good cheer to help me bear the traveler's load, and for the hours of rest that come between, an inward joy of all things heard and seen. Gee, that's a wonderful thought, Merv. Isn't, isn't that it? nice? Mm -hmm. Merv, hmm. time for one more song. Do you think so? One more. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we get Darla Hood out here, the Spellbinders, we get the orchestra all together, and what say we have like a Mardi Gras, a big fiesta now. Come on, let's get in the party spirit, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Fiesta, fiesta, the setting was right for romance. Uh-oh, there's my song. Where did the time go? Where did it fly to? Gee, how it hurries when I'm with you. Well, it's bye-bye time again. This is Merv Griffin saying, God bless every single one of you. Good night. And this is Scott Vincent saying that the Merv Griffin Show is produced and directed by Lynn Duddy and Jerry Bressler and written by Gene Meegan.